Some viewers may find the following video disturbing. Viewer discretion is advised. Well, hello and welcome back to the channel, everybody. In today's video, we find ourselves in West Lynn City in the state of Oregon as the frauditor known as Robert West decides he wants to stir the pot at the local city hall and ends up finding himself booted out the front door by the cops. So let's go ahead and sit back, relax, and enjoy the show. So I'm in West Lynn, Oregon. Where everyone can be a fascist clown. Oh yeah, we can all immediately see how you got booted out of this place by, well, calling everybody fascists around here. Dude, uh, you have no freaking clue what a fascist country is like. If you uh, look at Nazi Germany or uh, Mussolini's Italy, for example, back uh, during World War II, uh, yeah, you would see what true fascism is. And the United States is nowhere near that. Case in point, you make it out of this encounter alive. So if it was a fascist country, you would never have left that building in one piece. There was a car for sale. Okay, uh, this video is over 30 minutes long, and he spends most of this video, well, just wandering around. In fact, for the next five minutes after this, he's just wandering around fi filming license plates and uh, talking to himself about uh, well, how persecuted he is and everything like that. So let's just go ahead and skip to uh, when he's in the actual city hall itself, shall we? Five minutes later. Look at that. They even got their computer all set up. Hi, how you doing? Great. Just uh, videotaping your screen right over there. Hope you don't mind. No. Okay, good. Well, at least he's being honest about something in this video because he sure as hell gonna lie to the cops here in a little bit, which contributes to him being tossed out of the building. So let's go ahead and skip to the part where this guy truly goes off the rails. A little longer than a few minutes later. <laughs> before they shut everything down upstairs. <clears throat> oh. <laughs> That's right. Close those doors up. Bobby's back. Oh, just up here to video. Oh, yeah, Bobby's back, huh? And you know what? He talks about his probation later on in the video being over with, and one of his conditions was to stay out of this building. And, uh, well, since his probation is uh, expired, he thinks he can come right back in here and act like a total jackass. Well, he's about to find out the hard way that they won't service his ass if he, well, mistreats everybody in here. <laughs> so 
So this is the cashier water and sewer payments. Santa Claus. What? Nothing. I wasn't talking to you. Well, then step away from my desk, please. No. Yes. No. You're an antagonistic little bastard, aren't you? <laughs> <laughs> I'm glad you have fun. <laughs> <laughs> well. <laughs> so, West Wind's closing everything up because I'm here. Well, it should be noted that uh, part of your probation was you not supposed to be in here. And, uh, well, if you were that bad that that was a condition... Well, I can understand their rationale behind how they're acting towards you. If you are a jackass who wants to act like a complete uh, nuisance, then they're going to treat you as such. And it just gets worse from here with the interactions that this dude has with the uh, staff here. I mean, he just, well, you'll have to see it. Authorized personnel only. <laughs> so I show up and they close everything down. Hey, do you guys enjoy making every cop in this country a liar? Huh? <laughs> So do you enjoy making every cop in this country a liar? I don't have to answer any of your questions. Of course you don't. I appreciate you recording me though. Well, I'll, 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 I'll record you anytime I want. Okay, so if you can't listen to me, then I'll listen to close my window as well. That's good. I'm glad you're closing your window. Shows how big of a fascist goon you really are. Oh, wow. Uh, you call her simply closing the window fascism uh your definition of fascism is way off from what the rest of the world has uh for a definition of fascism no wonder you are so damn angry about these people because well you don't even have any understanding of what fascism is to begin with it's not like uh, there was a, a good example of it during oh say world war Two. So, dude, I would go read a few books about what fascism really is because, well, if you call this fascism, then you're even more incompetent than I thought you were originally. So you haven't answered my question. Do you enjoy making every cop in, in this country a liar? Hmm? I don't show any meetings, Alice. You know the rights that the police officers say, your Miranda rights, you got the right to remain silent, anything you do or say can and will be used against you in the court of law. You got the right to speak with a lawyer and have him present during questioning. If you cannot afford questioning, one will, if you cannot afford a lawyer, one will be appointed without charge. You ever hear of that? Well, I couldn't afford a lawyer and you still charge me. You fascist piece of shit. <laughs> uh, dude. You still have no idea what fascism is because if you had tried this particular stunt in a fascist country, well, uh, they would have marched you out onto the street and unalived you in front of everybody to make an example out of your sorry ass. They are not going to do that here because, well, they're not fascists. But let's just go ahead and skip to when the cops arrive and eject this uh, moron from the building, shall we? Three hours later. Can you move it along? I'm all out of time cards. The lady over there sat there and seen me come up. She called me an she asshole. She sat there and saw you come up the stairs? Oh, well, when I, I came around the corner. Oh, so when you came around the corner, you saw her. So the yeah. gates weren't shut. Alright, so the gates were open. Why'd they shut them? Because I'm up here because I came up the film. Okay. 
So here's the deal, man. Um, hmm. you, you remember you being kicked off property and not being allowed here last year, right? Uh, that was an order, mm -hmm. and that was a condition of my probation. Uh -huh. My probation's over with. It is, yeah. So and therefore, that order goes bye-bye. You're correct. <laughs> what's the deal with you? Are you trying to get another one? Is that... No. Okay, so they're not going to help you today because you caused problems. I didn't oh, cause any well, problems. That's what they're telling us. So okay. you want to come back another time and try to get it dealt with and not yell, not be aggressive? Because that's what we're being told. I'm not yelling. I'm not being aggressive. That's what we're being told. So they're not going to help you today. Okay. So are you good to go? And then you can come try to get your business handled tomorrow or another day? I'll just walk around here and film. It's a public place. It's a public building. Okay, but now you're disrupting them trying to do their job. So How am I disrupting them? Look at all the, all the gates are shut. If someone else comes in here and wants help, they can't because you were being aggressive, which is what they said is what happened last year. I'm not being aggressive. But would you mind pausing your video and you can show me when you came up here? You yeah. Can all, right? Yeah. At, at this point, the frauditor actually shuts off the camera long enough to show the officer the footage, and, well, the officer sees the truth for himself. He ends up finding out that the frauditor is a, guess what, lying his ass off. What else is new? I mean, come on now, a frauditor who lies? No, no, it can't be true that a frauditor would lie his ass ever loving fucking ass off now would he oh no it's not true it can't be true oh wait it is true so i'm leaving because westland police because you lied to me we just no i didn't lie to you, you. Lied to me. we just watched the video and you post it on youtube post the whole thing so they can see that you lied to me. i will i will post the whole thing okay and then everyone can see that you lied to me i didn't lie to you you did lie to me no multiple times so no. come back another day handle your business you're not gonna have a problem Okay. If I come back, then I'm still going to have a problem. If I mean, you walk in uh -huh. and you need to do a records request, uh -huh. and you're acting cordial to everyone, they will likely help you. Maybe they'll call us because of your history, but I will help you do the business if that's actually what you're doing. Uh -huh. That is not what you did today. Okay, then what did I do today? You just watched the video, so let's go. Have a nice day. What, I can't film down here? Not anymore. You're disrupting their what they're trying to do. I'm not disrupting you anything. Are. They had the gate shut. They close the gate. Come back another day, man. Okay, can I get your business card and your badge number? I don't really have badge numbers, but 635, or 63165. Okay, and I need yours, too. I don't have one on me. You want me to go to my bag and get one? Yep. Okay. Let's go. So I'm going to have to leave under threat of arrest. They're saying I was disorderly and that if I don't leave, they'll, tr they'll arrest me for trespass. Trespassing on public property. Wow, wow, you butthurt moron. You do realize that you can be trespassed from any property, right? I mean, you sound awfully surprised, as if this is the first time that you've ever heard of such an idea. Well, uh, dude, I've got news for you. You should be able to understand that. The amount of times I'm sure you've been trespassed, and I've watched a number of your other videos where you have gotten trespassed, and it's the same damn argument every single time oh i can't be trespassed off public public property but you do get trespassed so yeah why are you so shocked about it dude is it that you're totally incompetent and uh, don't uh, understand the law to begin with or do you have uh, some severe type of uh memory loss like 10 second tom in uh 51st dates. I mean, that would be a, a probable explanation for your inability to retain that particular piece of information right there. But whatever, dude. You're still an incompetent buffoon. So at any rate, guys, I hope you enjoyed the video. Thanks for watching, and I will see you on the next one.
Dude, so there's no way I can get in, bro? Come on, I'll put you on my YouTube. But shut up, Wesley. You gotta put signs up, ma'am, if it's... Are you Glenn Serio? Who's that?